me preface this by saying I know I said I was gonna not going to be doing videos on work days, but I'm making an exception because this is the eve of the beginning of my session with Body Slims, which will start tomorrow. Anyway, my eating plan is not going to be any different than what you've seen in the past. It's healthy eating on Slimming World, and I will be monitoring calories, but not um, 100%. That being said, I have a healthy salad here with lots of speed in it. It's actually all speed. Greens, carrots, onion, cucumber, and roasted red pepper. I also have on my salad, I have to tell you about this. Hold on, I have to come back to let you know about the salad dressing. Okay, I have been to the Olive Use store in Fishkill, New York for the first time, and I absolutely fell in love with this place and the products that they sell. These are balsamic vinegars imported from Modena in Italy. I chose to try the fig, the raspberry, which is really what I went for because I'm trying to um, stop eating the light vinaigrette, the raspberry flavor, and this is what I've come up with. And then I have this delicious cranberry walnut. These were about $15 a bottle, and when you go back to refill them, you can refill them with any of the balsamics that you like. There's so many different flavors, my goodness. And then it will be $13 a bottle because you don't have to pay for the bottle again. Anyway, moving on, what have I done here? You all know I like to make my own dressing, and it's been quite a while since I've done that. What I decided to do this time around is just put the lazy garlic in here. You can see a piece of it right there, or a few pieces. I also added plain balsamic vinegar because of course it's much less expensive but keeping the flavor of cranberry walnut this is the version I've made for this time I also added in equal parts of this um, and then what I did is I just put mixed in to the water part of it um, some of the I'm forgetting the name now it's not guar gum oh my goodness I'll put the name in here <laughs> my apologies Anyway, so this way it will be, this is like 36 calories a tablespoon, so I don't want to be eating all those calories in the balsamic vinegar. I just want the flavor. So now I'm back down to about five calories, a serving of two tablespoons or at least under 10 calories, we'll put it that way. And then I will season my salad according to what I feel like having for seasoning on the given day, either Greek or the Mrs. Dash, or I have the perfect pinch that I like and that way things will can I'll keep things interesting okay back to the food okay so so far we have lots of speed in our lunch salad and then I have put some baked ham the healthy inspirations that I always get at Hannaford as well as the low sodium turkey breast and that does it for my protein for my lunch meal I'm not having any carbs but I am having cheese Look at how much of this cheese I got in 15 grams. I was like first going to start with 30 grams, which is the allowed amount for the healthy extra A. And um, so now I only have used half of my second healthy extra A. The first one's always my almond milk, as you know. And I have plenty of cheese, and this cheese is quite delicious. I get this at BJ's. And um, so this is my lunch for today. I've also added some salad supreme to season it up. And two tablespoons of my homemade uh, vinaigrette and I'm gonna go enjoy this now okay I am getting ready to leave to go to work so let me show you what it is that I bring to get through my evening without feeling the need to buy something to eat that I should not be eating I'll start with this I'm going to bring a banana which sometimes I have and I sometimes I don't need it what I have been doing is having half of my healthy extra B which is this Ezekiel bread, and I stuff it with PB2 made with water, which is two and a half cents. The banana would be a free food on Slummy World. And then I have at my register in my pink flask, a shake made with some non-fat plain Greek yogurt, which is a free protein on Slummy World, and this Oikos Triple Zero. I sometimes use other flavors, but this is what I have on hand today. And this is made with stevia. That's why I like this brand so much. And this is a half cent for five and a half ounces on Slimming World Plan. I also wanted to mention, because we have a new person starting Slimming World as of yesterday, my friend Kathy, who is also in New York. And Kathy's a diabetic. I hope you don't mind me sharing that, Kath. But 
I wanted to let you know about these Atkins bars, which make a good, um, we don't get high fi bars in the United States unless we want to pay a whole lot more money for them. So I'm looking for substitutes that would work as a B. Um, this is 150 calories. It has lots of fiber. It only has three net carbs. And it is an Atkins bar, a snack bar. And it has, where is that? My goodness, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. Eight grams. It has eight grams of fiber, which is very good. Because the reason that you have healthy extra B every day is to increase fiber. I don't know that I totally agree with that, but that's a conversation for another time. So, Kathy, if you had half of this bar, it would be half of your healthy extra B. If you wanted to have the whole thing, it would be your entire healthy extra B for the day. These are some bars that my son gifted me. Kathy, you could get these at Aldi, and this would also be a decent substitute. Um, the net carbs would be... This has, is high in carbs, though. It's 21 grams, and I guess if you're looking at net carbs, you would remove the 8 grams of fiber from that total. But just an idea. And this one is also another option that I found that my son also gives it to me. But this one I would use maybe on a way, way day evening as a treat, and I would count it as a B. Um, it is a little higher in calories, but that's what I would do with it if I wanted to use this. And I only have that on hand, so I'm letting you know. The other one would be Kellogg's Protein Bars, the strawberry and the peanut butter versions they have at Walmart. And half of that bar would also be half of your healthy extra B for the day if you wanted to have a chocolate treat. But I don't know what the carbs are on those. So forgive me, I can't give you that info. I don't have them on hand. Um, so yes, this is... This, the copper colored flask is coffee that I'll drink on the way there. The black one is my electrolyte water and then the pink one is my shake. And that does it for my eating so far for when I go to work. This is my dinner for tonight. It is two and a half cents. And in here I have lots of speed, broccoli florets and Roma tomato. I also have some chicken, which is free protein. And I have this Ben's Original Ready Rice, which is two and a half cents. Although it says two and a half cents in the app for 220 grams, I only have 100 grams here. That's plenty enough for me. And then I have the other half of my Healthy Extra A, which is the feta cheese. And that does it for my dinner tonight. So lots of speed. And we have some rice and some chicken and cheese. Looking forward to having it. Well, hello there. It's early in the morning, and I am not feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I'm coming to you with this video on, hello, Wednesday. Um, I did work last night, and I did not have a good night's sleep at all. I'm on my third cup of coffee. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Be that as it may be, it is the first day of doing body slims for me. And I am reporting on yesterday's day of eating, which ended in a complete catastrophe. I didn't finish um, my dinner. It looked really good. It tasted really good. I don't know if it's because it was late at night. I just ate so much of it, but, and then I couldn't eat anymore. Uh, and then I went on from there to do my, because I didn't sleep well, to do my night eating bread and margarine thing and blah, blah, blah. So as of today, my prayer is, for myself to stop this. And I wasn't gonna put the video up, but I said, you know what? I, I need to put the video up because I need to close that door now. And this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna tell you the backstory of it. And I'm just gonna move on from here. I also wanna thank everyone so much for all of their lovely comments on yesterday's video and for all of the support that you continue to give me. I couldn't go on without you. I really would have, this keeps me going, letting you know how things are going, partly because I want you to know what I'm doing, but also in the event that you're experiencing some of these ups and downs or lots of ups and downs, I just also want to let those people out there know that they're not alone and that this is really part of the process over the long run of it. You know, if you want to look at it as, okay, I'm on a diet and I'm going to do this for 10 weeks or I'm going to do this to get five pounds off or 20 pounds off. And then what happens in the end of that is 
for the most part, not all, but for the most part, the numbers are there to back this up. People stop the diet because they're not on the diet anymore. They're at their goal weight. And then what happens? They revert back to what they were doing before the diet. And then the whole roller coaster thing starts all over again. This is what I am hoping to stop by doing body slims. I am watching this lovely lady called Anne Evolving. I mentioned her yesterday. And she makes a lot of sense in her videos. She's talking about the the psychological aspect of how we view food, what food means to us. For me, food right now is an addiction. It is a way for me to process my feelings, whether my feelings are of anger, of grief and loss, even sometimes happiness. I have to stop doing that because that is not what food is supposed to be for me. It's supposed to be my way of taking care of myself and keeping myself healthy to nourish my body, to put the right food into my body so that my I feel well. And that is a totally different ball game than what I've been doing. Even though I've gone from calorie counting to Weight Watchers, Nutrisystem calorie counting Weight Watchers, back and forth at Slimming World and calorie counting and all this madness that I've been doing. That is not the, what is going to ultimately lead me back to my healthy mentality regarding food. I have to nip this in the butt and that is why I'm doing body slims because of the psychological aspect of my food addiction. I need help with that. The rest of it you can see in my videos. I know how to either weigh and measure or make a plate the way Slimming World tells us to make our plates. I know how to do all that. I've been doing that for years. I know how to cook healthy whole foods. I enjoy eating healthy whole foods. You see what I eat all day long. The madness of my nighttime stuff is is a psychological madness that needs to be treated. And that is why I am doing body slims. So I hope you'll stick with me through my journey. I'm not quite sure how to, um, what to do going forward in my videos because I want to talk about my body slims journey, but I don't want anyone to think that I am not on Slimming World because I am on Slimming World. It's just gonna be a different way of going about it. But I don't want to leave my Slimming World way of doing things because ultimately when I'm finished with these 10 weeks, Slimming World is going to be what I continue with because I think it's really the guidelines will keep me on track because it's a lifestyle. If that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. I haven't had enough coffee. I need an IV of coffee this morning. but. For those of you that are on Slimming World that have been successful with Slimming World and are in maintenance, you will probably know what I'm trying to say. Um, it is a lifestyle. It is not a diet to me. And I think that I need to address all the psychology behind where I go wrong in order for me to be able to start to live that lifestyle because I get very confused very easily. I do this to myself. I don't want rules, but then when I don't have rules, I, don't, I really just get myself into this hole because of my diet mentality. And I believe that Body Slims is going to take away that diet mentality and replace it with good mental health regarding food. That is my hope for myself. I've done enough research on it, and there's no reason why I can't do this. Walking an hour a day, I probably will have to work up to that because I haven't done it in so long. Guess what? I used to walk six miles a day when Cora was a puppy. Actually... That stopped at the time of the virus. Uh, I would walk at the mall. I'd go around the whole parking lot of the Newburgh Mall. I'd go in and out of the building to keep things more interesting because you can window shop as you walk. And I'd keep a good pace, a New York City walk. That is how I walk. So my pace, like if Jim and I go to Manhattan, he's, in, he's lost in the dust. Like I have to keep stopping and looking out for him. It's just the way I walk, having grown up in the city and walk from when I was a child, we walked everywhere. So um, my pace is a lot faster than probably, it's not a stroll, let me put it that way. Um, so I would do that before I'd go over and watch Cora. I'd do a good 45 minutes. And sometimes I'd go back to the mall on the way home if I didn't get my steps in. My steps would be upwards of 14 to 16,000, but not a stroll pace. For the most part, at least, I don't know, an hour walk for me 
is about three, a little more than three miles. That's at my pace, my comfortable pace. So I don't know how many steps that is. I never paid that much attention. But the bottom line of it is that I did all these things seamlessly. It was my lifestyle. So I want to grab that back. I want to grab it back through this Body Slims program. I want to listen to Jer and everything he has to tell us every day. And I just want to put myself in his hands, figuratively speaking, for the next 10 weeks. So on that note, guys, I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to ask you to please do everything you can to try to take care of yourself. I'm going to wish you and your family many blessings. I'm going to send you these big hugs. And I'm going to thank you very much once again for the gazillion time. I can't thank you enough for sticking with me and supporting me always. Your messages mean so much to me, your comments. And I do want to know how you're doing. I truly want to know how you're doing. So please let me know that too. And if you haven't joined Slim Win yet, please come on over there and join us. We're a really happy group of people. And we are full of love and support and understanding. And if you're looking for that, Slim Win is the right place for you. And we also have our weekly chat, as I've mentioned many times. And that's a ball of laughs. We cry together. We, we, we celebrate. Um, we do it all together. We are a group and we are one. Everybody is in it together, right? You're in it together with me. And we are all in this together for the long haul. So bye for now. Please stay well. And I'm going to see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,